Hey, this is Adam with Heavy Metal Automotive. I'm gonna show you this 2019 Ford F450 we have for sale. It's a two wheel drive, six, eight liter V10 gas engine. Uh, the truck's got 193,000 miles on it. When we bought the truck, uh, we buy it sight unseen. We, that's how we buy 99% of our trucks as is. Uh, it come in, we didn't realize, or we didn't know it had a little engine issue. Um, so normally what we would do is just call Ford and buy a new engine. And we attempted to do that and they said it would be about six months before we could get a new V10. So we called around and found one from a guy we buy a lot of parts from. And um, he had an engine out of a 2019 F550 that had 10,000 miles on it. So the engine's got 10K on it. When uh, Before we put the engine in, we pulled the valve covers on it and looked it over. It's super clean. It looked like it honestly had no miles on it. Um, it was a really good looking engine. It was clean uh, on the inside and outside. But anyways, put the engine in, it runs like a new one. Uh, it's a really nice truck. I'll walk around and show it to you. Obviously has a dynamic uh, self-loader on it. Power windows, power door locks, cold AC. Interior's in really nice shape. This truck does have uh, new straps and tow lights that'll be with it. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we just didn't have them, or they didn't put them in the truck for some reason. They're at our shop. They just didn't put them in here. Um, so we bought this truck in Texas. It's super clean. Uh, the only thing I wanted to point out, let's see, where was it? Right here, there's a little rust bubble but I actually think that's just from this piece being right here and it collecting water, but I'll point that out. 
also it's got these things up here i don't know what you call them i think this truck was sold from a place called wrecker warehouse at some point i looked that up if you want those off there we'll take them off or paint over them or do something i thought it looked kind of cool though i left them on there So if you're interested in this truck, give me a call or text 256-310-6852. Our website's heavymetalauto.com. You can go in there and check out pictures of this truck. If you're looking out of state and you want to have it shipped, I can ship this thing straight to you. You're going to be looking around $1.50, $0.75 a mile. Um, we're dispatchers, so what we'll do is post it on our dispatch board and we wait for somebody to call and say, Hey, I see you got this truck going to Minnesota, California, Texas, New York, wherever you're at. Um, we want to pick it up. I'm not, I don't have somebody sitting here at the ready just waiting for somebody to buy a truck and take it to them immediately. So if you got to know exactly when it's going to leave out and there's people that are like that, understand, you just have to come get it yourself. Um, normally it takes three to seven days for you to get the truck. That's, that's a good average, but like I said, it, it could be immediately and it could be 10 days. Um, but three to seven days is normally where, where we're at with getting people their trucks. Uh, if you do decide to come in person, we're here Monday through Friday, seven to four. We're not open on the weekends. And if you come, you got to bring a cashier's check, do a wire transfer or bring cash. We can accept a check on your name or your business name. It has to be certified funds. And, uh, one other thing, there's two ways to lock this truck in. Number one, say, I want the truck. I'm going to the bank to wire you the money. Or number two, say, we want the truck. We'll be there tomorrow. We'll be there the day after tomorrow with a check. We'll pay you. If you call me and say, I want the truck, but I can't tell you when I'm going to come get it or when I'm going to send you the money, we're not going to hold it. And it's going to sell. So... We don't like to hold trucks because these things sell quick and you know i don't want to get messed out of a deal and that's happened a lot lately more than more than i like for it to happen so um you know i don't want to make anybody mad if you want the truck i want you to get it but you got to pay for it if you want to buy the truck you got to pay for it we can't hold them for weeks and also, if you're, if you're financing, I'll work with you on that. We just got to lock in and, and know that you're buying it. And, uh, you know, the commercial financing is a lot different than going to the Chevrolet dealer and financing a vehicle. Sometimes it takes two weeks to get a commercial loan done. And I understand that and I work with people with it every day. It's no problem. We can work that out. Just uh, give me a call if you're interested. Again, it's a 19 F450 two-wheel drive V10, 193,000 miles on the truck, 10,000 miles on the engine, runs out and drives good, air is cold, everything works like it should. Texas truck. Thanks for watching.